I know every Chicago Bulls fan seeing this is telling me go fuck yourself, Zero. He's not going anywhere. And sorry for my French, ladies and gentlemen. I try to refrain from cussing. But even though I do do it in real life, I know some people don't like it. But either way, DeMar DeRozan is somebody that people are saying keep your eyes out for. Because DeMar DeRozan will enter the summer as one of the top free agents if Chicago will, decides that he isn't going to be part of their core going forward. And they don't want that. So specifically, what we're hearing is DeMar DeRozan is a guy that's quietly a dark horse in the background of these trade rumors. And we know that the Lakers, Heat, and Sixers all have interest in him. Obviously, he is a guy that he's still an excellent playmaker, good mid-range scorer. And his passing and playmaking for teammates has been quite strong. He's a leadership guy. It's hard to overemphasize DeRozan's consistency and how that consistent value over the last two seasons has an estimated plus minus rates, him adding 22.2 wins over those span as he's one of the just 15 players in the NBA to post a double figure in totals in that metric in each of the campaigns. So if he's if he wants to leave to try to win a title, then he would force a trade out. If does he want to stick with the Bulls and be a part of something? We know that LA is his hometown. And an L.A. deal would probably be around Rashawn Holmes. I mean, my, my apology, Rui Hachimura. And Rashawn Holmes is on the Dallas Mavericks, by the way, guys. Rui Hachimura, probably D'Angelo Russell, Gabe Vincent, Austin Reeves. What, a package of two of those players. Maybe Jalen Huchifino with those guys. And a first-round pick. Something along those lines. I don't know. Maybe that's an overpay. I'm thinking the easiest deal would be Rui Hachimura. Gabe Vincent, Jalen Huchifino, and a protected 29 first round pick. But we know that the Lakers don't want to do a deal like that. While the other one, Duncan Robinson's off the board and they traded for Terry Rozier, the Heat. So unless they're trying to trade Tyler Hero, which they've said they ha don't want to trade, I don't know how they would do this deal. As monetarily, the, the Heat right here, they need to get up to like $28 million, almost $30 million in salary. They're paying Hero and Terry Rozier both in the 20s, 18 to Duncan Robinson. Like, I'm literally telling you, it'd have to be Tyler Hero with, like, Nikola Jovic in a first-round pick. Even if they say they don't want to trade him. And now, finally, the last team, if we're going to go with what we're seeing right here, the Sixers, I think with Joel Embiid's injury, it's just not going to happen. That kind of, that that ship sailed, in my opinion. So, I mean, again, what, what do I know? I just definitely think it's an interesting situation with how this is developed uh, and i think demar sticks it and if he does get traded it's a signing trade in free agency that's just my my personal opinion on the matter just from how it looks but what do i know